A minimally invasive breast biopsy, a simple needle biopsy, is the best way to determine if a lump in your breast is a breast cancer. We're going to teach you all about it. When you are told that you need a breast biopsy to make sure that you don't have a breast cancer, it is a nerve-wracking feeling and experience. I want you to know why a minimally invasive breast biopsy, one done with a needle under ultrasound mammogram or MRI, is the best approach. And I will teach you how to make sure you get your breast biopsy results quickly so you know what's going on and you know what's ahead. In this lesson, I'm going to teach you what a breast biopsy is. I'm also going to share with you the reasons that a minimally invasive breast biopsy is the best approach. And I'm going to give you the different types of minimally invasive biopsies. I'm gonna teach you how to get your breast biopsy results quickly. I'm gonna give you some advice that you should ask for a copy of your biopsy pathology results. So let's get started. So what is a breast biopsy? When you have a concerning mass or a lump in your breast or something's found on your mammogram or ultrasound or a breast MRI and it's a little bit concerning 80% of all breast biopsies are benign, non-cancerous, and 20% show cancer. And we never really know till we have a piece of tissue to look at under the microscope to figure out if it's benign or if it's possibly cancer, and then we figure out the next steps. So you and your physicians want to know what it is. And a biopsy, getting a small sample from the area of concern is the best way to approach this. You can either do a needle biopsy or you can surgically go and take a piece of the area or cut it out. But by far, a needle image-guided breast biopsy, a minimally invasive breast biopsy, is the way to go, and 90, 95% of all biopsies should be done in this fashion. So, you come in, you have a biopsy, put a needle into the area, and the tissue is sent in formaldehyde to a pathologist, someone to process the tissue, and over the next two to four days, issue a report after looking at it under the microscope to tell you if it's benign or if it's cancer or somewhere in between and more needs to be done. So the key thing to understand is not only does the pathologist look for it, look at the tissue, but he issues a result, what it is. And you want to know that result quickly. And also you want to know what the terminology that's told to you, what it means. And we're going to get to that next. So why is a minimally invasive breast biopsy with a needle the standard of care? It is really the standard of care. A minimally invasive biopsy can be done under local anesthesia, numbing medicine. So you can come and see your doctor, or radiologist, have it done, drive yourself in, drive yourself on, go back to work, do your normal things. You can avoid going to the operating room, being cut on with a knife, being put under anesthesia, of discomfort after a surgery and so on. In the vast majority of situations, a minimally invasive biopsy is better than a surgical biopsy in most situations. Remember, most things that we biopsy, 80% of biopsies are benign. And the way we manage most of them, not all, but most, is that we put a needle in it, find out it's benign, it seems to make sense. We just leave it there and you get a mammogram in a year rather than biopsy, find it's benign, and then cut it out. We don't really do that that often. The biggest benefit, and God bless you, you're diagnosed with a breast cancer, but a needle biopsy determining that something is a cancer, and it doesn't spread the cells in the breast or the body, the needle, allows you to step back, get the results in two or three days, know that you have a breast cancer, Look at it further under the microscope. We learn more about the cancer from the biopsy itself. You can get a breast MRI. We can plan and make better plans for surgery or chemotherapy or whatever's needed for your treatment plan before you go to surgery. But if you went to surgery, you had that cancer, a part of it removed, and it was cancer, you left a lot behind, you'd have to go back to surgery, have more of that removed. It's not nearly as good as surgery. Sometimes you burn some barriers on your future surgery with a prior surgery. So it's better for surgical planning if you have a breast cancer. 
Next, I'm going to tell you how to get your results quickly and why to get a copy of your pathology results. How to get your results of your biopsy quickly? Well, if you've been to a hospital or you've been to see your doctor, you know things tend to move kind of slowly. But if you have a needle biopsy of the breast, you're obviously very concerned. You want to know what it is. And you want to know yesterday what it is to make sure you do or do not have a breast cancer. The problem is, is that when a doctor does a biopsy, usually a radiologist or a breast surgeon, the best ones pick up the phone and call you when they have the results in one, two, or three days. They get your cell number, they keep it with them, and when they get the results, they pick up the phone and call you and let you know. But not everyone does that. A lot of times the biopsy is done, it goes through the system, there's a report, and the biopsy doctor is waiting for the other doctor that ordered the biopsy to call you, and who knows if they're out of town or they don't see the reports. The best way to get your results quickly, my recommendation is this. The day you have your biopsy, either the radiologist or the breast surgeon is doing it. You turn to them and say, I want you to personally call me with the results of this when it's back in the next several days. Because if they're doing the biopsy, they have a responsibility to you, and they're actually paid for it with their reimbursement, to call you and counsel you about the results of the biopsy. So hand them your name, hand them your cell phone, hand them in that note that it's okay to leave the results as a voice message. So they feel comfortable picking up the phone, getting the information to you, and that way they can, to some degree, explain to you what the results mean. So why get a copy of my breast biopsy pathology results? The results under the microscope of your needle biopsy, and remember 80% of them are benign, 20% are cancer, are important for you to know. Someone calls you on the phone and tells you that you have a fibroadenoma or architectural distortion or radial scar or fibrocystic change in your breast all of these things, you're gonna forget about it in five minutes. But it's nice when you have a copy of the biopsy report for one, five, 20 years in the future. So when you do have a problem and your doctors are wondering what that biopsy showed, because it's a concern five years later, you have a copy of that result and you don't have to work so hard to get that information from the hospital. So, Ask your doctor, the ordering doctor, to send you a copy of the, your final pathology results for your records. If you need a breast biopsy, insist on a minimally invasive needle breast biopsy. Demand that the breast radiologist or the breast surgeon who does the biopsy call you themselves with the results. You want to know. It's your information. Ask for a copy of your pathology results from your biopsy for your personal records. To learn more about minimally invasive breast biopsies, visit the Breast Cancer School for Patients, where we actually teach you everything you need to know. We're here to help you get the best possible breast cancer care in your community. Register on our website to get our list of questions to prepare you for your next doctor visit.